Oh yeah, what's going on y'all? It's Coach PJ Sheridan coming to you live and direct from the Fight Camp Studio. And today, oh, we got a good one. We are gonna do some work with some bands. Some of my favorite ways to exercise are utilizing the bands. We're gonna go through a couple moves today that are gonna help you not only increase your speed, your power, but help you develop strength in those ligaments, joints, and muscles. This is going to be a workout that you can do almost every day. So follow along, add this into your routine, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Now, I'm going to use a heavy bag as my anchor. You can use these resistance bands on a pole, on a bench, somewhere where you will be secure. But let's start off with the first one. We're going to do some band pull-aparts. And I'm going to use a pretty standard band. Now, what I want to do is stand at shoulder width apart. I'm going to bring the hands up and as I'm gripping this band right about shoulder width apart I'm going to extend and pull my arms all the way out until that band almost touches the chest and I'm going to bring it back to position now the key is going to be keeping that hand all the way up we're just going to go for 10 reps here all right you'll see that the first couple might be easy but then whoo it starts to pick up all right so we just want 10 easy reps controlling that breath as you extend all the way out make sure that you're not dropping the hands okay the tendency especially as you fatigue is going to be bring the, the band down here keep that band up extend it all the way across all right we'll call that one and ten now once you shake it out you'll start to feel those back muscles as well as the chest and the delts all getting fired up it's going to be really great when we're trying to extend and retract really fast let's go through our second set here now this is a little follow along. If you need to take more time to rest in between, don't worry, all right? Take all the time that you need. These band pull-aparts are not an easy movement, but if you already got a great warm-up in, trust me, that is going to pay off. Oh yeah, nine, one more, and 10. Oh, shake it out. Now, when we do the band pull aparts, I always recommend between 10 to 20 repetitions. Now that we got done the movement with one band, let's work with two. So I'm going to anchor one band and then I'm gonna use the other band to get like a little slack, okay? So band goes around, I'm gonna take one and I'm going to get a little light knot. Now, from here, I wanna make sure that the tension is up nice and high and we're gonna wrap the band around so i'll be honest this might feel a little uncomfortable all right i would prefer a comfortable band than a not so comfortable one i'm gonna put my right arm in to the band and from here i'm going to turn counter clockwise now i'm in south or i'm in my orthodox stance forgive me but the band is pulling me back this way so what I want to do is get into my boxing stance with a nice controlled rotation. I'm going to throw my two, my rear hand with the band on my right side. We're just going to rock with 10 repetitions. Now what I want to do is focus as I rotate and turn, that band is going to try to snap and pull me back here. Fight that resistance, use your core, and as you extend and you snap back, you stay in a control position. Now, whoo! We're just gonna do 10 reps out of this. Full push on that punch. Hmm. Now control your body as you retract back through. Remember, ooh, eccentric and concentric muscle contractions are gonna take place here. So focus your core as you stabilize, trying to stay low as you rotate. Now remember, the band's also gonna be pulling you, so you have to fight the urge to lean forward, sit down into that position, really use that trunk. What's that, seven, eight, nine, and one more, 10. Now, as you unravel yourself, giving your arms a little bit of a break, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna take that band, I'm gonna go around my left shoulder, and I'm gonna rotate into the bag. Now, here is where we get tricky. I'm gonna be in south paw with my right foot forward, but I'm gonna be throwing my left hand. Now, this would be your jab in orthodox. Today, we're gonna to work the southpaw two, which is gonna be that cross. Similar fundamentals and mechanics when it comes to rotating and turning that punch. 
Again, elbows tight, good rotation. As you retract, remember, your body has to maintain control. Turn, punch. If you want a little more resistance, you can always back up from the bag. It's just gonna increase the intensity there. If you need to lessen the intensity, you step closer to the bag. Good. Good. Seven, eight, nice turning. Remember, ball of the foot is what's gonna drive those punches. And 10, shake it out. We're gonna use these two bands connected to get a little resistance and work some trunk rotation. Now, I have the band secured to the heavy bag right here. I'm gonna take my left hand and I'm gonna extend out a little far till I feel the tension. Now, I'm gonna bring my right arm in to give it a little assistance. What I wanna do is create the most resistance here. So I'm stepping out pretty far. What I'm gonna do is extend both of my arms fully all the way out. Now, from here, you'll see that there is gonna be the most tension. I'm gonna rotate towards the anchor here until the resistance takes off and wanes and then I'm gonna come right back to that center and bring the hands all the way back to home base. I'm gonna get 10 repetitions out of this. Extend out, rotate slow and controlled till the tension comes off, come back nice and controlled, hands come back down to center. As you extend and breathe, control that rotation with the left side of my body. Ball of the foot is gonna turn with that, okay? Now we're only gonna get 10. Now as you extend all the way out, you should really feel your left side obliques working here, okay? Whew, nice. Hopefully your band does not snap on you. So you wanna make sure you always have quality equipment. This is one of my favorite ways to increase power and speed when it comes to throwing the hook or even the cross there we go oh yeah seven almost there eight last two best two nine one more here it is and reset let's get to the other side now i'm going to secure the anchor on the other side because i don't want to turn my back to you so use the one anchor to now rotate and to get this even. Same thing, the anchor is on my left side, so I'm gonna grab predominantly with my right hand until I get some tension. Whew, this one's gonna be a little tougher for me. Fully extend out that hand, and as you rotate now to the left, turn and use the core. As soon as the resistance comes off, you reset. Now you make it more challenging by stepping away and you make it easier by stepping towards the anchor. Either way, you wanna make sure that you're staying balanced, that as you rotate, I don't overcompensate and come all the way here. Maintain the form and the control. Reach out, turn, come back, bring it in. Now, these movements are not the most difficult, but when you do them the correct way, you will see that I'm using a lot of my muscles from the ball of the foot all the way up even to the top of the head you rotate and you turn so those obliques those delts those lats are all being engaged <sighs> more than anything we're working on that core <sighs> which helps out with that punching speed baby good all right we'll call that one nine last one best one <sighs> and relax <sighs> All right, now we're gonna repeat those two one more time, okay? I'm gonna start on the right and then go back to the left so I don't have to change the setup. You know what I'm talking about? Woo! It doesn't always require a lot to make you work the right way. Quality over quantity, baby, here we go. Second set of 10. I'm gonna get a little more resistance with these ones, hopefully. Full extension all the way out, rotate in towards the anchor, come all the way back and reset. That's one. Nice. Woo, I feel the sweat going down my back right now. I'm keeping it real with y'all. It's not like we're moving 50 pound dumbbells. We're using, you know, a 15 to 65 pound resistance band, but I'm working my entire core. As I rotate, ah, that trunk is on fire. 
That's how we're gonna develop and build that power and that speed. Halfway home, I think I need a little more resistance. Let's step out away. Good. Last couple. Here it is. Smile. There are only 10 repetitions out of this, okay? So I'm not making it an extremely long and complicated and sophisticated workout. We're just here to get good reps in, all right? Now, we got this last set on this side. I want a little more resistance. Again, anchors on my right. I'm gonna grab with my left, step out till I have decent resistance. And from here, full extension, rotate in using my left foot. Resistance is off there. I'm gonna turn back fast, controlled. Another key here is gonna be to keep your posture up, eyes up, chin down, just like when we're fighting. There it is. I know. You figured Coach PJ sometimes might throw an easier workout here. Sorry, I'm not sorry. We're just using bands. We're just doing two by 10, so it's not the worst. I believe in you. Eh? Come on. Last ones. Best ones. A lot of rotation, a lot of retraction, reset. Now, speaking of retraction, right? Punching power and speed does not necessarily always just come from me getting the punch out, but a lot of it has to do with me transferring that power and retracting back. So let's practice that. Really quick, I'm gonna stay in my orthodox stance. I'm gonna grab the band with my hand. If I grab inside of the band, typically it's gonna be lower here, which is gonna make me not have a high guard. I want my hands up, so I'm gonna simulate that. I wanna step back until there's some resistance on the band. Now what I wanna focus on is gonna be the retraction back of the hand. From here, 10 punches. I'm gonna rotate and I'm gonna throw my two. Now what I wanna do is as I bring my hand back, I'm gonna extend my hand forward. Again, reset. I want to get a good turn of the core and I need to snap, snap, reset. Try to get the hand up high. Good. I see you. Keep your eyes on your target. There we go. Now the resistance band is just helping you kind of spring back into action. But ultimately, the form is going to be from you turning and twisting with a nice firm punch. Now I'm going to grab my right hand. Same exact thing. Pull until you got resistance. Hand is tight. Hands close by the chin. I'm going to extend the jab. And as I retract, throw the punch. Pull all the way back in. One. Two. Good. Three. Four. Five. Nice. Hand all the way back. There it is. Last one. All right. Let's change it around. We're going to do the same exact thing, but I'm going to rotate from this side, and then we will be done with these light resistance band moves. They're going to make you faster. So we went with jab first, right? Grab the band right by the edge. I'm going to pull, and now I'll pull it to my face from here. I'm gonna rotate again, full extension in two, hand comes back to the face and switch them. There it is. Now remember, punches are gonna be whole body, but you're rotating, you're twerking and turning with the hands right back at home. I see you. Last ones. Come on. Ah, oh. My shoulders are killing. Last one, best one. Orthodox stance. Right hand is gonna have the band. I'm gonna pull all the way to my face. Bring the jab out. And as I retract, that hand goes out. Good. Try your best to not drop the hand, okay? The tendency might be to bring the punch down here, all right? Wanna stay up high. Try to keep that band in a straight line. 
Come on. Only 10 repetitions here. Good. Last one, best one. And let it go. Nice and safe. Make sure you don't smack anybody in the face with that band. But that's how you use some bands. That's how you get those hands speed up, baby. Woo! And there you have it. Two bands, lots of moves, but hard work nonetheless. Let me know how and when you apply this workout into your normal training routines. Questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. And make sure that you hit that subscribe bell so you'll know when Fight Camp releases videos just like this one. Until the next time, y'all, Coach PJ signing off. Peace and love. Thank you.